Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to find simple interest when time is given in months. We will be solving two questions in this video. So without wasting any time, let's get started with our first question. So the first question is, find simple interest on rupees 1500 at 12% per annum rate for a time period of 3 years, 3 months. So first of all, we'll write what is given in the question. So given is principal amount which is rupees 1500 rate of interest is 12 percent and time is three years and three months the formula for simple interest is principal times rate of interest times time divided by 100 where rate of interest is in percentage per annum and time is in years so here we have time as 3 years 3 months so we have 3 full years so we'll write 3 plus 3 months so we need to convert these months into years so we know that one year is 12 months so one month will be equal to 1 divided by 12 years if we'll write months in year we are going to take 12 months in the denominator because out of 12 we are taking 1 month so the year will be 1 by 12 similarly for 3 months we will have 3 by 12 years 3 months in years will be 3 by 12 so now this 3 by 12 we are going to add here to make 3 years 3 months into years so this is 3 plus 3 by 12 or 3 by 12 we can reduce to 3 plus 1 by 4 3 times 1 is 3 and 3 times 4 is 12 so we can reduce and write it as 1 by 4 so 3 plus 1 by 4 will be we will take the LCM so this will be 4 and this is 1 here so 3 times 4 will be 12 plus 1 is equal to 13 by 4 years so our time will be 13 by 4 years Now we will put these values in the formula for finding the simple interest. Time is equal to 13 by 4 years. Now simple interest is equal to P times R into T divided by 100. So principal amount is 1500 times rate of interest is 12% per annum and time is 13 by 4 years divided by 100. Now we will simplify this. So these two zeros gets cancelled with these two zeros. And this is 4 times 1 and this will be 4 times 3. Now we are left with 15 times 3 times 13. There is 1 in the denominator. So simple interest is equal to 15 times 3 is 45 times 13. So let's do it here. 45 times 13 is 13 times 5 is 65. 6 will be carried over. 13 times 4 is 52. 52 plus 6 is 58. So the answer is 585. So our simple interest is equal to rupees 585. This is our final answer. To understand this more clearly, let us solve one more example where time is in months. Our second question is find simple interest for rupees 9600 at 7.5% per annum for a time of 5 months. So first let us write what is given in the question. Given is principal amount as rupees 9600. Rate of interest is 7.5% per annum. This is a mixed fraction. Let us convert it into improper fraction. So this will be 2 times 7, 14 plus 1, 15. 15 divided by 2%. Now time period is given as 5 months. We know that 1 year is 12 months. And 1 month will be 1 by 12 year. So 5 months will be 
5 by 12 here. Time in year will be 5 by 12 years. Now we will put the values in the formula for simple interest which is principal times rate of interest times time divided by 100. So principal amount is 9600 multiply by 15 by 2 rate of interest times 5 by 12 time whole divided by 100. So simple interest will be equal to 9600 times 15 times 5. This is a fraction division. So this will be one fraction and this will be when we divide two fractions, we will take the reciprocal of the other fraction. So this 100 will become 1 by 100. 12, this is 2 and this will be 1 by 100. Now we can simplify this. So these two zeros gets cancelled with these two zeros. 12 times 1 and 12 times 8 is 96. 2 times 1 and 2 times 4 is 8. The numerator we are left with 4 times 15 times 5 which is equal to 4 times 15 is 60 and 60 times 5 will be 6 times 5 is 30 so 60 times 5 will be 300. So our simple interest comes out to be rupees 300. We will box the answer. So this is how we can find out simple interest when time is given in months. We just need to convert time which is given in months in years by dividing it by 12. I hope this video is helpful to you. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more math videos. Thanks for watching.